What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Nicholas, and welcome back to the next Dynasty. A good amount of you are subscribed to the channel to hear more about my food truck endeavor, my part-time food truck. So here is another video dedicated to that topic. We're going to talk about uh, the best day I've had in service and the worst day I've had in service. Right now, I've been open for almost a full five months. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a full-time job and I'm operating my food truck as a ghost kitchen. So advertising people to order online and come pick it up. We do have walk-ups, but I try to uh, nicely teach them for next time to order online and come pick it up. And it's that simple. Um, we are open two days a week, Thursdays and Fridays. We are in the Midwest selling breakfast sandwiches. So we're gonna talk about the best day of service and the worst day of service and looking at the sales figures, what we sold on those days comparably. So without further ado, this is gonna be a banger. So hit that like button, comment below something. I love reading comments. So comment below because I love reading comments, you dig? So what prompted me to make this video because last week we had a day that was very slow and I'm like, wow, this is slow. So I was like, I wonder what it is compared to my best day. So the worst day consisted of six sales, uh, three, no, four directly from my uh, website through Chow Now, where it's a commission free, but I just had to pay for the service. Um, and then two orders are from Uber Eats and they take 30%. Gross sales before any fees or anything, uh, we brought in $85.30 on our slowest day from six orders. This is um, five orders of our uh, chorizo muffin that we sell for $7.50. We did three French toast sandos that we sell for $3 or for $7, excuse me. And then one hash brown order, one breakfast cheesesteak, our most expensive item, one French omelet, and one bacon. So we basically sold um, one of everything and the chorizo muffin was the most popular. So those sales figures from all those six transactions was $85.30, but we only received $67.39 on our slowest day and we are open from 7 30 to 2 p.m that is six and a half hours and the math goes out to be uh ten at dollars and 36 ten dollars and 36 cents per hour we do get there earlier at five so if we were to factor that in it would probably go down a little bit more to be this figure so a little bit more than minimum wage, but that is our worst day. So now for our best day. Our best day actually came from four orders, actually. Four orders. That's two orders less than our worst day. And we brought in $312 on our best day, y'all. How is this possible? So we have one big order from our regular ordering system online, and that was four uh, breakfast cheese steaks add bacon and that was $56 for that one order right there from our ordering system very good then we have one uber east order um, it would total around $24.60 before the fees we had a person that walked up and they used Venmo uh, $19.50 for, for um, their for their order which I don't not sure what they got but we actually had a catering order uh, for this day for $200 flat. So um, I did temporarily close the business that day just because I needed to take care of this big order. Um, so that mitigated some of the other orders that came in. Uh, but nonetheless, we did have other orders to, uh, to facilitate. So what did this day look like? We did 10 of the chorizos four of the French toast sandos, six hash browns, nine breakfast cheesesteaks, our most expensive item, six French omelets, and four orders of bacon. And probably another item from that Venmo transaction that I'm not too sure what they ordered, but we did receive the money. 
So we got $312 for gross and then paid out, we actually got $290.32. And again, we were open for six and a half hours and that equals out to $44.74 an hour. So much, much better than before, quadruple before or something like that. And we got there a little bit early. So of course we have to uh, do a little bit more time. And so that would probably be this if we uh, did the full amount of time. So this is a stark difference between uh, the best day and the worst day. Worst day, we got paid out 67 bucks. And the best day so far, we got paid out 290 bucks. And like I want to say some more, we are at the beginning stages of this business, month five, and we want our worst days to be higher. We want our best days to be higher. Uh, we want to do more sales each month. We want our best uh, day to be double this, triple this at some point. Uh, this is the very beginning, and I want to share my journey with you all. This is a part-time food truck, only open two days a week, operating as a ghost kitchen in the Midwest, selling breakfast food. Best day and the worst day. What you think about that, y'all? It's your boy, Nicholas. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment below, love to read the comments. Comment below, love reading the comments.